Hey, Mark Chen here. Hope everything's going well. Want to do a quickie video on synchronizing audio to video in Reaper. Three scenarios we're going to cover. First one, you have a script. It's got time markers on it. Here's the time. Put this sentence here all the way down. Uh, and they, you will supply them with the final audio. Second one is they supply you a video and a script and say, okay, replace these points uh, along the way. And you've got to have the video, find them, replace them. Not a big deal. Produce the audio, off it goes. Third way is do number two, but also output a video with the audio track in it. So number one, first thing we want to do is be able to set where the times are. And that makes recording a whole lot easier. So let's say we've got something at one second. We click on there, hit M, and we get a marker. This is good. Let's say there's something at three seconds. Boom. And four seconds. Well, no, make it five. We'll make it five. So, okay, uh, let's say you make a mistake and you put it somewhere where it shouldn't be. You can just grab and move it to where it needs to go, which is very cool. Uh, also, you know what? Let's get rid of this one really quickly and do something really cool. I'm going to hit Alt and get rid of that one. Now, if I do Shift M, I get this really cool add marker and I can name it. So this is part three. Boom. Now I want to go back just for fun. Uh, Shift M, double click. Part one and shift M again. Part or yeah, shift click, excuse me. Shift double click, off we go. So I've got part one, part oh, you know, and look, I mislabeled it. What a ding dong. So I hit shift double click again and I can edit it. Make that two. There we go. Okay, part one, two, three. So when I go to record, I can set it up here and record button. Part one. And what I've done, of course, as you can see, is I'm doing using punch and roll. I always use it that way. I'm used to the timing of it. And you can kind of get into whatever you're doing. Part one. Part two. And part two. Part three. Okay. Now, we note that it actually needs to start over here. But what can we do? Great. No problem. Click. Hold, drag it over, click, hold, drag it over, click, hold, drag it over. Now it's all in place. We can go ahead and render it. Not going to do that right now, but, you know, rendering, um, you, you can do a time selection. You can adjust where the end is. If you really don't care, leave it open. Uh, or you can sect, uh, have a particular time by highlighting and hit escape. That goes away. Or if it needs to be longer, same thing. Not a big deal. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of all this. Again, Alt to get rid of, Alt click, get rid of these. I'm going to right click, highlight all of these and hit delete and get you back to home. Okay, so let's do a video and insert that. We'll want to put it into a second track because you want them separate. And I'm going to insert the track with Control T. Second track shows up. Um, I don't know how to get rid of the, or not have it load in with the volume envelope. I'll hit the key V. That gets rid of it. And we're also going to disarm the track. Now to actually insert the video, we got a couple different three, you know, a couple three ways to do it. One, uh, you can go to Explorer, uh, you know, your Windows or Mac, whatever. Uh, find your file and you can, where did I put it? Oh, you know what? That's not the one. This one. There we go. Okay, I want to use, where are you? There we go. I want to use this one. Comes out nice and clean. Uh, you can drag and drop. Boom. Now, if you don't want to drag and drop, I'm going to delete it real quick. Put that back to home. Actually, you know what? If, even if the cursor's here, it's pretty cool. Uh, hit the insert key. And as long, you know, hunt for your folder, come up with the thing, double click. Boom, there it is. Uh, if you haven't loaded it before, it'll take a little bit longer to, to do what they call, you know, find the audio peaks and things. Now, if it's not in the right place and you want to get it all the way over to the beginning of the track, just click, hold, drag, and drop. It'll go on, go on over. Now, you look and you go, wow, that's some video. What video? I see audio. No problem. All right. Control-Shift-V gets you the nifty video window. Ta-da! And if you play, Flight Outfitters. They are all... Okay, so it plays, this is good. Now, one thing you can do, because this is kind of in the middle of everything, you know, move around wherever you want, 
Uh, if you're using a smaller window, you can put it outside, whatever. Uh, I like to dock it. I've got it set up so that it docks over here. You can vary the size of the docking window. Just drag the edge and move it around. We don't really need to see the video that much. We're not interested in the video as much as we are the timing. So, if we go back to home. Ooh, is that loud? Holy cow. Turn that down just for fun. Okay, so we want to find our timing marks. Look at that. Say blah, blah, blah. Okay, a lot of music. That's just a lot of music. Here's what we want. This looks like it might be audio because it's or uh, vo spoken audio. Flight outfitters start. Okay, so let's say we're here and they just want to have this timed right. The rest of the music they'll take care of. So we know that it starts here. Flight out. All right, so right on here, we're going to expand that out. And we know that we want this one here. Boom. We set our marker. And actually, you know, here's what we're going to do. We are going to let's set it with name. I'm going to get rid of it. And we'll do the Shift M again. Shift marker, boom. Uh, yeah, intro, boom. Uh, looks like it goes to here. Tablet age. Now the team has okay, we know that this is the second sentence. And we do Shift M again. Dim. Now the team. Boom. Okay. We'll just do those two for fun. We want to record and show you two things here really quickly. One, we're going to record this. Fly. Oh, wait. We hear something. Hmm. We don't want to hear all that because it records. Uh, notice it's starting to record here. We don't want that to record. We want just the new audio. Now, because uh, of the way that it works... If you just hit the mute button, you also get rid of the video, which you don't really want to do. What you can do, though, take the slider all the way down. Now, this part does not play. This will play. But we don't want it, of course. We're going to record over it and record the rest of it. Flight Outfitters, blah, 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 more stuff. Now the team has designed the best thing ever. Okay, so we've got two bits of audio. Now, if I leave them together and slide them over, you look and you go, well, you know, th this one's right on, but this one's not quite. It's close, but not quite. And truthfully, it may be way off. We hit, we pick a point in between, we hit S. That splits the two. So now you got one and two. This one we've already adjusted. This one, we can click on, highlight it, adjust it. Now it's right on. Now the team has designed the best thing ever. Okay, so it's good. It's good. Pardon the chair. All right. If you want to output just audio, and let's say we just want this portion of it, you can say, all right, we just want this. Boom. Do the regular output. Control, Shift, R. We're going to say... Uh, I'm going to call this Flight Audio. I'm going to pick it as an MP3, just for fun. Uh, it will retain the last settings you did for the uh, bitrate. You can So you can adjust it from horrible to OK to top quality. Render one file. It goes through and does that really quickly. Now, the fun part. Hey, we want that video and audio together. Can you give us that? Sure, no problem. Control Shift R. It's going to be the same exact time sequence, so we're not going to change that. But we're going to pick output here. So let's say typical thing would be like an MP4. Uh, you don't know what uh, size they necessarily want it. Maybe they tell you, maybe they don't. You want to render it in full quality, 1920 by 1080. It'll do that. So we got full HD. Won't do 4K. I don't think. It might. I don't know. Uh, but I don't have 4K capability here. So anyway, we render that. And it will render both the audio and the video together. So we go and check it really quickly. And we've got uh, the flight audio. Oh, yeah, I forgot to change the name again. Uh, here we go. But the MP3. Flight Outfitters. Blah, blah, blah. More stuff. Now the team has designed the best thing ever. Okay, so there's a little gap in there with the room noise. Sorry about the room noise. We've got a fan, big fan on. 
All right, now the video. This is the fun part. Flight outfitters, blah, 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 more stuff. Now the team has designed the best thing ever. Isn't that cool? So, uh, some videos don't work quite as well. There seems to be a little bit of uh, conflict in frame rate, so they get a little bit jumpy. Some of them are smooth as glass like that one. It's awesome. It's fun. It's easy. And if you go to uh, voiceactingforgames.com and look at the intro video and things like that, I edited the entire thing in Reaper. Uh, two video tracks, three audio tracks, going back and forth. Lots of fun. Anyway, talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye-bye.